Fear and concern is growing tonight as flames light up the Los Angeles hillsides. On January 7th, 2025, something experts have been saying might happen for years happened. Southern California, and specifically Los Angeles, experienced one of the most devastating wildfires in the state's history. Over 200,000 residents were forced to evacuate, and more than 18,000 structures were destroyed or damaged. Entire communities were erased in a matter of hours, and 30 people lost their lives. The question isn't if the fires will come again. The question is, how do we build in a way that's ready for them when they do? Since 2015 alone, over 3,000 extreme weather events have displaced more than 230 million people worldwide. It just doesn't make sense to keep building uh, homes that will burn uh, in places uh, that uh, will burn. So uh, the particular technology that we are working on uh, at UC Davis uh, is called the Compressed Stabilized Earth Blocks. We are focusing on the Compressed Stabilized Earth Blocks because uh, they, uh, at least in our opinion, have the highest probability of becoming a mainstream product because fundamentally we are talking about a brick. In theory, uh, almost everywhere you have soil that can be used to make these blocks. Uh, And so all you need is a shovel and you get the base material. Uh, What uh, is happening is that uh, we have lost uh, the capabilities of using it, uh, particularly in uh, in richer countries, uh, because uh, we have uh, very powerful uh, industries that are uh, pushing and advancing uh, uh, other type of more uh, industrialized materials. Due to the red tape surrounding these new building materials, there's a burgeoning subculture of DIYers taking things into their own hands. Every time there's a natural disaster or uh, some kind of a a war event, people always come to us and contact us. This happens to be in our own backyard, and so we are presenting the solution of how to rebuild LA Fireproof using this technology. My name is Daston Khalili. I'm the president of CalEarth, and CalEarth is a nonprofit foundation and educational institute where we teach people how to uh, build super adobe, and you can do that in one weekend. It is both one of the natural benefits of this material, but specifically the design of this architecture is to be fireproof. This kind of construction is very simple and easy to learn and forgiving. Essentially, you're taking long sandbags, tamping them down, putting a barbed wire to create a fusion between those bags and building in the shape of a dome or a vault like the one you see behind me. So you can build yourself a shelter very quickly Uh, and it will last for a very, very long time. Of course, if you want a fully permitted house like the one behind me, you need more engineering and technical knowledge, but something like that will last you 500 years. It'll never burn down, uh, it'll never get blown away, and uh, it'll resist very high seismic events. Building materials to withstand climate crisis, hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes, and fires isn't just a trend, it's a blueprint for the future. Fundamentally, when I look at the problem of climate change, I see that uh, we are running uh, full speed against a wall and uh, we don't seem to be willing uh, to decelerate uh, at all. Um, And there will be a point where we will be stopping. It is expected uh, in the next 50 to 80 years that we will have to build uh, about 2 billion new homes. Billions with a big B. That's a lot of homes. And that is accounting for uh, the increase in population, but also for the improvement uh, in uh, quality of life, in standard of living uh, across the globe. If we keep building uh, the way that we are building now, uh, our uh, goal of net zero is just becoming unreachable. On the other side of any large scale tragedy, when the dust finally settles, comes awareness. And with awareness comes change. Amid the rubble of one neighborhood, one house is still standing. The house was built to environmentally friendly standards and wildfire resistant. Made from things like sandbags, barbed wire, and earth, they're called super adobes. 
we are doing something uh, uh, not as fast as I would like to see it happen, but uh, there is movement. This architecture is being built in 64 different countries around the world, and it's very easy to teach. It is open source, it is public domain, and it is not for anyone, it's for everyone.